Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Tyler Curious. And if you're not already, please subscribe. And if you would like to get notifications for my video, go ahead and click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you would like to, after watching this video, if you're hooked and you want to see more videos, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and check out my previous content. But in this video today, we are working on an illustration, continuing my Fruit Girl series. Um, the illustration for today is focused around the fruit cherry, and I was really excited to do this one because my music inspiration was obviously Kehlani, and for the tattoo on the arm, it was kind of inspired by my mom because she has a cherry tattoo on her arm. Not on the exact same arm, I don't think. Um, <laughs> I should know that. But it's not on the same arm, but I just wanted to do this look because it's kind of very bad girl, has tattoos, you know. And then I also ended, uh, ended up using my love for the 1920s and I did this really uh, cool finger wave hairstyle that I really love. Um, it's a classic. Uh, but yeah, for this one, the skin tone blending was a very um, fun for me. I got to go really deep. Um, not as deep as I want to uh, for skin tones. I really plan to go further in the near future and uh, experiment with darker skin tones. I really need to invest in some more markers and kind of um, be daring and try to do darker skin tones. I'm kind of scared. I don't know why, but I feel like I can do it. And also for this illustration, I didn't have um, the necessary materials to get this red color that I have. So I actually just used Sharpie marker and it's also alcohol based. So it worked with the blending of the couple markers and everything worked out fine. I was kind of, um, disappointed that I didn't have all the colors but in the end it worked out fine um, but yeah that just goes to show you that you don't need expensive materials to create looks like this um, why did I say looks this is not a makeup tutorial but um, <laughs> you don't need expensive uh, materials to create uh, art like this one thing that I do regret not doing in this series is adding backgrounds, but I feel like for the style that I began with, um, it's okay that I don't have backgrounds because all of the backgrounds are cohesive. And I kind of wanted this tattoo um, pinup type look for all of these characters. And um, they really stand out from the background with the silhouette that they have. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this collection once I finish it, but I have some plans of maybe doing pins or stickers. I don't know, let me know down below if you guys would like to see stickers or anything of these illustrations. I do have some of them up on my Society6 page. I don't really use that one anymore, but I also have, I think maybe I have some up on my Redbubble page as well. And those should be linked in the description box below. And when I started here with this shirt, I went ahead and chose the darkest color that I had. Then I was just like, hey, it's a tank top, so why don't I go ahead and um, do the texture of a standard tank top and did the little lines. And it worked out fine, so I just used the, the pinkish coping marker as a base, and then I just went in with my Sharpie marker. But yeah, it all worked out. That's pretty much what I should name this video is it all worked out. But yeah, I really love um, that I got to do deeper tones for skin on this one. She's like, out of this collection, I feel like she's one of my favorites. And um, yeah, I just, I really enjoy doing this. I've also been exper experimenting more with the body positions of these characters. I do have a few more that I wanna do. And I don't want to tire myself out with uh, dragging this collection on, which is why I kind of put it on a halt in the first place. So that's why I kind of stopped it and started back uh, recently. But yeah, these cherries and all of the fruits in the series are very tedious, so I just kind of magically skipped that part, if you don't mind. <laughs> um, it's basically the same steps that are in the other videos that you've watched previously. If you haven't, go ahead and check those out. So you're not really missing anything from this collection if you want to i'm not forcing you to but yeah i highly advise that you watch all of this collection together i may put it in a playlist 
on my channel but otherwise you can go back and watch them yourself um yeah this one like i don't know this one just kind of hits close to home because like the tattoo and this is kind of like my mom's style like my mom is known for like well my mom is a hairdresser so she um one of the most like iconic or uh interesting hairstyles i've ever seen her do is this finger wave style and she made it look so easy and i don't know she i don't know i just love my mom <laughs> She's so creative, and like where I get my creativity is obviously from her. Uh, so that's why this illustration is kind of like my favorite. But yeah. Now on to makeup. I just did a very simple um, smoky red eye, and then I added a wing liner and uh, some dramatic lashes. And I added the signature mole that is reminiscent of this time but here's this illustration i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye